So there's been something that's been on my mind for the last little while, and with the Lego Batman movie coming on Friday, it seemed like a good time to put all my thoughts together and get it out there. Many times I'll recommend an animated film to people, and I'll often get this response. Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's cartoon, that's a kid's movie, and uh, I don't watch that. I don't know what that did to kid's stuff. I don't watch cartoons. This kind of blanket statement towards these films frustrates me to no end. And that's why I want to talk about the difference between an animated film and a kid's movie. Bear in mind, this is simply my opinion, and you may agree or disagree with me, but it's something I feel that I just need to differentiate for those who are interested. So first off, what is the difference exactly? A kid's movie is more often than not, nothing more than bright colors, immature comedy, and a whole host of other things just designed to distract kids for a couple of hours. And while those can come in the form of an animated film, yes, they also come in live action films as well. For example, the Barbie and Tinkerbell series of films can be considered kids' movies, but so can live action films like the Air Bud series of films, and more recently, Monster Trucks. Monster Trucks. Anyways, what would constitute a movie to break that barrier and transcend from being simply a kid's movie to being a film that can be enjoyed by perhaps a more mature audience. Now, I'm not talking about movies and TV shows like Family Guy, South Park, or Sausage Party. These programs are certainly more mature as well as animated, but they often have very surface storylines and rely on vulgarity and sexual content in order to get the shock value out of the audience that they're looking for. To me, an animated film can certainly be kid-friendly, but however touches on themes and ideas that an older audience can understand and relate to. It's something that works on multiple levels. If you're not familiar with the filmmaker Don Bluth, I suggest looking up some of his movies. He directed films such as Anastasia, Thumbelina, The Secret of Nim, and The Land Before Time. Now before you say something like, oh, The Land Before Time, aren't those just bright colorful musicals designed to distract kids for a couple of hours? Perhaps the sequels are, yes, but the original is a dark film where the main character watches his mother sacrifice herself and get brutally murdered right in front of him, and the rest of the movie he is desperately trying to be reunited with his family and has to cope with the loss of his mother practically all on his own. That's heavier than anything this has to offer. <laughs> Pixar is the master of making films that can be considered all audiences. The Incredibles is about a man going through a midlife crisis, Inside Out is a movie about how it's okay to accept your emotions, and it's okay to be sad, and it's okay to feel things. I definitely know more adults than children that need to hear that message. And the Toy Story movies can and should be talked about when discussing the greatest trilogies of all time. So it bothers me when someone makes the blanket statement that all animated films are automatically for kids and won't even consider watching them because there's no gratuitous violence and sexual content. We should demand more from our movie watching experience than just the lowest common denominator. Kubo and the Two Strings is an incredible movie that came out last year that almost no one saw, but it is a gorgeous movie to look at and has more heart and soul poured into it than most of the other films that came out in 2016. I think that when you're trying to compare an animated film to a kid's movie, the main differences are how strong the story and characters are, how much passion and care was put into the making of the film, who is the message for, what is the movie trying to say, who is it trying to say it to, and can the movie work on multiple levels for multiple audiences? I believe that filmmaking is filmmaking, and animated films should be taken just as seriously as their live action counterparts. So that about sums up my feelings on the matter. Thanks for watching my video. You can share it if you agree with my points. Comment below, let me know your thoughts, and let me know what your favorite animated film is. You can give me a subscription if you haven't done so already, and if you've got nothing else to do, go watch more movies.